Good morning, class. Today we are going to have a very special lesson. It is about goals to make the world a better place that leaders from every country have been working on. Mr. Clare, what is a goal? That is an excellent question. Remember when you told me last week that you wanted to get an A on your math exam? Yes. That was a goal that you set for yourself. And what did you do to reach that goal? Well, I made sure that I did all of my homework and I studied all of the multiplication tables with my older brother. That's right! And you got an A on your exam yesterday. These goals for the world are the same idea, except they are much bigger goals. The people of the world will need to work together to reach those goals, just like you and your brother did for your math exam. Class, I want you to think about this word for a moment. Poverty. What does this word mean to you? I think about people that don't have a house or food, so they have to ask for money on the street. That is a good answer. Ending poverty is the first goal that our leaders have called for. It is very important for every person to have their basic needs met so they can live a happier life with dignity. The government can help provide support to people that need it and our businesses can create jobs so that people can have enough money to provide for themselves and their families. However, there are other needs that people have in order to have a good life. What do you think are some other things that children and their families need? I think it's important that children have doctor and medicine to help them when they are sick. You're right. It is very important for children and adults to have healthy lives and access to medical care, vaccines and medicines. This will help to reduce and eliminate diseases that make children very sick. Also, children need nutritious food and clean water to be able to grow up strong and healthy. Class, what about school? Do you think this is also important? Yes! In our school, the teachers are providing you with the skills and knowledge to help you throughout your life. However, there are many millions of children who do not get to go to school. Sometimes it is because they are girls or because they have a disability or because they live really far away. It is a right for every child to get to go to school and to learn when they are there. That is why education is another goal that our leaders have set. What about playing? Isn't that important too? I want to go outside and play with my friends, but there is no park near my house and my mom says it is too dangerous. You bring up two very good points. It is important that our cities and towns have good services like easy transportation, safe housing, water and electricity, and yes, spaces for you to be able to play outside with your friends. However, you have also brought up the issue of safety, which is another important goal. Children should not live in fear because of wars or violence in their homes and communities. Now back to our discussion on poverty. Is it only about money? What else is poverty about? Well, I think sometimes people are treated badly because they are poor. That the war isn't fair with everyone. That is very true. And that is why reducing inequalities is another goal. Our leaders want everyone to have an equal start, so they don't get left behind. That means that everyone has equal rights, no matter the color of their skin, what religion they practice, if they are a boy or a girl, if they are poor or rich, or any other difference between us. What about animals, Mrs. Clark? Are there goals for them too? Yes, there are. People must live in a world where oceans, trees and animals are protected and valued. Our leaders have a lot of goals. How did they come up with that list? Well, our leaders wanted to make sure that all of the important issues are covered. And they learned about what is important from people around the world. Our leaders have asked children and young people like yourselves, but also business people, people who do community work, parents, farmers, teachers. They have heard ideas from millions of people, 
including those living in vulnerable conditions. They will now need all of your help for achieving these goals. How can we help? Well, it starts with children around the world learning about the goals like all of you are today. When you have this information, you can then take action. For example, remember how your Girl Scout troop has been working together over the last few weeks to clean up public parks in our city. Well, you were working on some of these sustainable development goals. You just didn't know it at the time. We also have the right to ask leaders what they are doing to make progress on the goals. For example, are they spending enough money on schools and hospitals so that children are educated and all people can get treated when they are sick? Wow, we could actually make a difference on the goals. You are the difference. These goals will not be achieved without all of you and other children around the world taking action. Remember, these goals are about your future and creating the world you want for yourselves, your families and the next generations of children.